guys, it is Klishan. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just wanted to show you a few pieces that I picked up from Arquette and Weekday. So every pair of jeans that I'm going to show you are organic cotton. These are sustainable jeans. Some people might not like me using the term with that, but it is what it is. Anywho, first pair are, these are a pair of like dark wash jeans. Pretty much everything is a straight leg, mom fit, relax type of jean. These are called Lash. These guys are a really nice wash. They just look, they're just mom jeans. Uh, the next pair, pair are medium wash jeans. This is robes. This is just about the same fit except the ankle. The leg opening is a little bit wider. The last pair of jeans I got from weekday, uh, these guys. So this is a faded black wash. This is cropped. High waist again, all of these are high waist. I should actually only keep one pair, but knowing me, I'm probably gonna keep two just for variety. And the last thing I'm going to show you is from Arquette. So I got a pair of jeans from here and a few other items. I got a second pair of black jeans, a faded. So these look a little bit more gray. So these are the ones from Arquette. These are, again, high waisted. Uh, these also have like a more medium uh, leg opening. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try these on and try to style it for you so you can we see how I would wear it. Let me show you what these look like. So I am wearing the Arquette jeans. Let me come up a little in the sunlight. There we go. I decided to keep on the uh, Hawaiian shirt, the vintage Hawaiian shirt that I had on to just wear with these. As you can see, these are like really high-waisted. They cover my belly. This is what I love about high-waisted jeans. So I can wear crop tops when needed. It also acts like a girdle, which I like. So that's nice. I just paired them with the Zara shoes I bought this summer. I really like the leg opening on these and I love exactly where they hit right at the ankle. I, I don't know, I really like these jeans a lot. So you can see they're a really faded wash. So yeah, with these jeans, I would wear shoes like this. I would wear my Vans. Or, you you know just some like low top sneakers and I would even wear some uh, boots that would fit underneath the pant leg so these are a nice pair of jeans to just wear throughout fall and winter so I am going to try on the other pairs for you so now I am in the weekday row jeans and I gotta tell you that I love these these have like a real vintage fit I mean, they are perfectly high. My butt looks good. I didn't think that I would like such a wide leg opening, but I actually do like it. These are a really good fit. I love this wash, first of all. So I don't know, these ones might be the winner. It's funny, I look totally 90s right now with my little cardigan and 90 sandals and chunky jewelry. <laughs> okay, so you can't really see the color in the camera but these are the dark wash jeans from weekday uh the style was called lash um i actually i do like the wash but i just feel like these jeans are not what i'm in the market for and they would just sit in my wardrobe for a long time i mean the leg is interesting i don't know i feel like i could really make these like a fashion jean like wear this with certain styles i don't know like the longer i'm in it the the cuter i think they are but i'm not having such a vivid or uh, you know a, a nice reaction like i was having with the last pair of jeans the row from weekday i think they're pretty cute i in general like a dark wash like this because i think they're very versatile and you can dress it up you can dress it down but i'm just really feeling like all of my my fat is not fat but you know my my love handles are coming out a little bit so i don't know how comfortable i am in these jeans they're cute i like the wash but I don't think that they are a winner. I have one more pair of jeans to try on for you. All right, so I am in the last pair of jeans. These are from Weekday and they are called Meg. The style is really cute. They are cropped as you can see. Uh, wide leg. I actually really like these. I just feel like really cute and sort of sophisticated in this outfit, you know, but not like pretentiously sophisticated. I don't know if that's really a thing. Just ignore that statement. These, I think actually, ooh, I don't know if I like these more than the ones from Arquette, the first pair I showed you. So I'm only saying positives here. There is one con and that is with the uh, leg, the length. I 
don't think I'm gonna be able to wear these in the winter because how short they are. I like to have every inch of me covered with a few layers. So I don't really want some jeans that I can only wear part-time. I really want my wardrobe to work with me year round. But in general, I want my basics to be as versatile as possible. And I don't know if it's smart to keep these jeans if I can't wear them as often as I would like. Of course, if I lived in Los Angeles back home, then I would buy them without hesitation. But since I am here in Sweden, and it's cold most of the year. I don't know, I gotta be very practical about these purchases. But this is cute. Let me try it on with a blazer. So this is just a vintage oversized blazer that I picked up. I don't know if I talked about this before. I don't know, maybe it's too much big on big. I tend to like a small silhouette mixed with a big silhouette so I don't look big and frumpy. Now I just need to decide what to keep. So that was it for the jeans. Now I just need to decide which pair to keep. I feel like I only want to keep one of the jeans though I am heavily debating between two. Tell me which ones you liked and which ones you think would be more versatile but I think I already know which ones I'm leaning towards. So yeah I will see you guys in the comments below and in the next video. Till then bye bye.